everyone, welcome back to the channel. Tonight, we are filming more of a zen video. This is something that I have been wanting to film for a really long time. I am going to be sharing with you my at-home spa routine. It's something that I started doing this past year. Um, you know, it, it was not a fun time last year. I think we all kind of went through it. And something that really helped me was taking an hour every Sunday and just setting aside time for myself and like really pouring my time and focus into my skincare and just taking care of myself. So tonight we are going to do that together and I'm going to show you all the products that I use, the tools, step-by-step -step order, everything. We're going to dive deep on it all and I am so excited because tonight not only do I have all that to share with you, but this is actually a video in collaboration with my new favorite Etsy shop. I cannot wait to tell you about it. So we're gonna dive into that and then I will get into the skincare. Okay, so like I mentioned, tonight's video is in collaboration with the most amazing Etsy shop. Literally, I was just browsing on Etsy and I came across her shop and I gasped when I saw her items. I will show you in a second. But tonight's video is in collaboration with Luna Love Essentials. She is a small run like candle shop off Etsy out of California. On her Etsy page, she um, she mentions that she specializes in hand poured coconut soy candles that are made with love as well as hand selected crystals. And you guys are gonna die when you see this candle. Literally, look how beautiful this candle is. So this candle right here is actually called her manifestation candle. It is it is the most beautiful thing I've literally ever seen and it smells so good. When I took it out of the package, I also gasped because I couldn't believe how pretty it is. You can see there's like all these different crystals in here. She gave me some information to read about it. So I'll give you the deets on what specifically everything is, but it's a woodwick candle and it's hand poured and it's, it's literally just so pretty. So. In here, in each candle, there is amethyst, rose quartz, opalite, and clear quartz. And then I believe the flowers are little roses. They're just, I mean, again, I can't get over how pretty it is and I cannot wait to light it up. So the best part about all of this is that we are actually going to be picking one of you to win a candle from her shop as well. Also, for anyone who is watching this video and you're like, I can't even wait for the giveaway, I gotta get my hands on one of these candles, she was so kind enough to give us a discount code. So I'm gonna put it on the screen, but I also wanna make sure that I'm getting it right. You can use the code LUNA15 for 15% 15 off uh, any of the candles in her shop, which is awesome because they're so beautiful. I'm honestly thinking about getting myself another one already and I haven't even lit this one. So I know that was a lot of chatting, but thank you to Steph from Luna Love Essentials for collabing with me on this because I just, as soon as I saw these, I knew I had to do a video. It fits so perfectly with my spa routine and I figured that you guys would also be just as obsessed with these. Okay, before I start with the actual skincare, I am going to just kind of spray the area with this. This is called the Sweet Dream Spray. This is by Species by the Thousand and they just make a lot of these kind of like herbal essential oil sprays and I'm just gonna kind of like spray it around myself basically just to get the sleepy vibes going. Now it's time to light up our candles. I'm going to just pop this back here on the table behind me so that we're just getting that beautiful glow and good vibes throughout the whole spa time. Okay, let's get into the skincare. So the first step that I do is I cleanse my face and I have a couple different cleansers that I use and I'm just, like I said, we're going deep in this video, so I'm gonna share them all with you. 
if I am wearing makeup, any kind of makeup, like foundation, concealer, like if I go more anything more than sunscreen, I'm going to be using my Bosque Cool Makeup Breakup Cleansing Oil. This stuff is the best makeup remover out there. So it's like an oil cleanser and it will get everything off your face, but it's gentle enough to use on your eyes. Then, typically after that, I will go in with the second cleanser and I've really been liking this one from Tatcha. So this is their rice wash. The, it's a soft cream cleanser and it gets so silky and foamy. I really, really like it. Now tonight I did something a little bit different because on spa nights specifically, I really like to make sure I'm not only cleansing, but I'm also exfoliating. This is their, I guess they just call it the deep cleanse. And this is a oil-free gel cleanser with natural fruit exfoliants in it. So it's like an exfoliating cleanser. It has little bits of fruit in it. <laughs> that kind of, it kind of feels like a sugar scrub, but it's not too harsh on your skin. So I really like this as a combo product. So after I cleanse, we come to my favorite part, which is a facial steam. So, this has been like my saving grace throughout quarantine. I think I talked about it in a in my favorites video, but this is from Vanity Planet. It is their steamer. This is really what makes it a spa night. This is what makes it feel luxurious, and Vanity Planet is always having sales on these or they're always bundling them with their other tools. So if you've been looking to get one of these, I highly recommend this. I've had it for maybe close to two years now. I've had this for a long time. It's still working great. I love that it comes with these little um, top bits and they've got little pieces of fabric there that you can actually dab essential oils on. So normally I'll just pop eucalyptus on there and it, again, that fresh spa scent, it is so so nice. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna steam my face. Usually this goes for about 10 minutes and it's the perfect amount of time to just kind of zone out, let the steam hit you and just like enjoy. If you guys can see, this is the steamer over here and this is what it looks like when it's putting out steam. So it's ready for me. I'm gonna steam my face for the next 10 minutes and then I will be back to finish off the rest of my skincare afterwards. Alright, I am back after my face steam. As you can tell, I am nice and shiny and hydrated again. So I really like doing that right after I cleanse to put the moisture back in my skin. Doing the steam is great in the winter time, especially if you have dry skin, but it's also great to do all year round just to keep that glowy skin look. So at this point, there's a couple different things you could do. Um, some nights, this is where I would pop on a face mask, like a clay mask. Other nights, I would put on like eye patches um, and do like LED light therapy. I have a LED <laughs> light mask that I call my Kylo Ren mask because um, I use the red light almost exclusively for anti-aging and wrinkles and it literally looks like Kylo's mask, which is pretty baller, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually just going to take a little bit of my cellar water. This is from Simple and basically this is just gonna make sure that any last bit of gunk on my face is gone. Um, if you have trouble removing like waterproof mascara or anything stubborn like that, steam your face and then go over with a micellar water one more time. You will not believe how much extra stuff is on your face that you did not think was there. I'm gonna take another little cotton round and this is like one of my new favorite products. This is from Pacifica. This is their vegan collagen hydrating milk tonic. And I just apply like two pumps to a cotton pad and then swipe it and buff it into the skin. 
Okay, and next we need to talk about one of my new favorite skincare brands, which is Notorium. So I discovered them because of this serum right here. This is actually my second bottle of it. This is a hyaluronic acid serum and it's seriously changed my skin. I use it morning and night. It's gentle enough to do both. It's gentle enough to layer with other products. It doesn't irritate my skin, but it has made my texture improve. It has made my hydration improve, like fine lines, because it's just like plumping my skin and giving me life back. And I like this brand because it's affordable. It is cleanly formulated and they're backed by science. So they do research on it. Um, and it's just like all good things. So I found this serum, fell in love, and then I started trying some of their other products. So this is new to me. This is their azelaic acid emulsion. So this is like a, um, a brightening kind of complex that also has niacinamide in it, which is like resurfacing. Um, it's just smoothing. It's like that it ingredient for like glass skin, but it is gentle enough that I don't feel any irritation and that it can be used with other active ingredients. They have a ton of information on their website. Um, you just want to make sure if you're using this in the morning to use SPF afterwards, which we got to be wearing that SPF every day, no matter what. And we're going back to a brand that I have talked about on here a lot. People are still watching my I tried to uh, for um, a week video. I filmed that over a year ago at this point and I am still loving and using Tula products. So if any of you are new here from that video, hi, thank you for joining and sticking around. I still love Tula. I still use a lot of their products. And this, I didn't even say the name of it. It's their Revive and Rewind Eye Cream. I love, and I like to tap it starting around the crow's feet. And then I bring some just in the inner part of my eye, not like in my eye, but I get a little bit of dry skin like right in here. So I work a little bit of that in there, kind of the extras. And then we're gonna go to moisturizer. And so I want to talk about two different things because I've kind of kind of been on a roller coaster with my nighttime moisturizers, but the original cream that I was loving is this from Tula. This is their Protect and Plump Firming and Hydrating Face Moisturizer. This stuff is really, really good. I really like it. It, I don't know. It's just like my dream texture and formula in a moisturizer and I love it. So I actually used this all up. So I was trying out a couple other different nighttime moisturizers to see if I could find anything that compares. And I came across this from Natorium. This is their Intense Overnight Sleeping Cream. And this is the best kind of comparison I found. They're not quite the same. This one I do like. It is, if you guys can see, I'll run my finger in there but like it is a thick cream um, and you can kind of just like drench your face in this it is an overnight sleeping mask I'm not gonna use too much because I'm gonna go in with another product after this but this one is really nice it is a better price than Tula it's a little bit more affordable so if you are looking for something like this on a budget I would say try the Notorium one I do like it but I think after all the trials and like dupes I've tried I still just like this and I just want this back again because I was actually really enjoying this at night and in the morning and like my skin was the best it's ever been when I was using this so I will probably be going back to this after I finish finish up this Notorium cream. The very last step that we are going to be doing is finishing with an oil, a face oil. This one is from Drunk Elephant. We're gonna be doing a little rose quartz roller and gua sha face massage to end the spa night. So this is what the like treatment at the end that I mentioned. I just love doing a good rich face oil every now and then. 
um, just again to like boost back up those nutrients in my skin to add that hydration back in and especially if I'm sleeping it's all going to soak into the face sometimes I'll do this in the morning though and I'll just kind of let it sit all day and this oil is not too rich to where it's going to like irritate your face to do that it's really really nice I take I'll probably take like two full droppers because when you do the massage you do want actually a good amount of that oil on your face so that the gua sha will glide over and I just kind of pat it in we're gonna start with the gua sha and what you want to do is work your way up and out and you can just like go over the areas a couple times there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube on reels but this is going to help with lymphatic drainage it's going to help depuff your face I really like it as a way to kind of promote like sinking in my products too when I do a full routine like this so like really working them into the skin and it's not like hard pressure you're not pulling out your skin if you have enough oil on it will literally like I said glide so the stone is like pressing into your face, but you're not really, you're not pushing hard. And it's not dragging across my face, but you can use this if you have any puffiness in areas that you want to bring down um, in the mornings. I love taking the roller. I'm gonna show you what I do with that in a second, but I really like working on my jawline. All right. And then I'm going to switch to the roller. This I love in the mornings. And especially if I have like a sinus headache or drainage that I need rolling out right here. And then again, just rolling back and forth over your face. You can do, you can really do just whatever feels good. And as long as you're kind of working out. And taking the little side underneath your eyes it's so so good so normally I like to do the gua sha maybe at night and then more of the roller in the morning because the roller I feel like is more um, I don't know I feel like it wakes you up a little bit more but then you can just help the drainage down the back of your neck like I said it works with that lymphatic system so all those fluids that you're pushing out from your face, you want to help them drain down your body. All right, the very last step is a product that I have been talking about forever. It's maybe like one of the very first things I raved about. It is this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is just their original flavor. They've come out with so many flavors over the years, but this is my favorite. And this is the best thing for your lips ever. It not only does it just look like a really nice gloss if you're wearing it during the day, but if you sleep in it, any cracks or dryness or um, like if you get whimper or sunburn, all of that will be gone. You can see like how nice and glossy it is. But my favorite part about it is that it doesn't leave a residue like if I wear chapstick and then it kind of all wears off I can like still feel the chapstick that's like one of my biggest pet peeves this does not do that highly highly recommend if you're gonna only get one thing from this video first off it should be the candle and then after that it should be this but yeah that is actually the final step of my spa night routine like I said, normally I would do this kind of in my room, like right before bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, please go support Luna Love Essentials. Stephanie was so sweet to work with me and her candles are insane. This has been burning the whole time behind me. It smells so good. It's so beautiful. I love it. I just, I can't get over how much I love it. If you want a chance to win again, all you need to do is be following both of our Instagrams, which will be down below. Subscribe to the channel and comment um, telling me why you want to win or like which of the candles you're obsessed with from her shop and then leave a way for me to contact you and we will be picking a winner a week 
from when this video goes live. And don't forget that if you want a, a candle, you can't wait for the giveaway, then go ahead and pick something up from her shop and use the code LUNA15 for 15% off. Again, thank you, Stephanie. I'm so glad we got to do this video. And yeah, I think that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more skincare related content or more content filmed at night because I'm loving the vibes of this setup, leave it in the comments down below. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos. And I will see you again very soon. Bye!